hey yo, somebody asked for a plumber, heard there was a leak. Yeah, it's in the kitchen, my guy. I see over here. Oh, yeah. That's definitely a leak. Can you, hey, fix it for me though? Hey, hey yo, you, you gotta pay me though. How much is it gonna cost, bro? Yeah, it'll be uh, sixty dollars. Sixty dollars for that? That's not worth it, my guy. Trust me, I know. Where's the leak, ma'am? Leaks. I have zero trust in leaks because ninety-five percent of the time, a leak or a rumor is basically false, except for that one where they said NBA 2K21 was gonna be the same park as 2K19. And then everybody denied it. That's not the neighborhood, but you guys can think whatever you want. But, you know. But this one seems to be real, and I think we are all about to get seriously disappointed. Let's start with the leak itself. So, of course, this came from 4chan because I feel like everything comes from 4chan. And this person claims to be working on NBA 2K21. This is obviously an anonymous person and literally could just be the janitor at 2K offices, so I don't know. Now, he gave two important leaks for not just current generation, but also next gen as well. And I am so hyped to talk about that next gen leak, but that will be next video because this video we're talking about the current gen information and how it's going to break our hearts. So let's start with the bad news before we go into the good news. This video, I'm showing you guys a leak of NBA 2K21 on the current gen. And the current gen is gonna suck, I like Jamal Murray. Okay, but first, giveaway. I'm giving away NBA 2K21, another copy for the current gen, on Twitter. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter, you're entered into the raffle, and I'm announcing the winner on Friday this week. So if you wanna get on that, just follow my Twitter account. That's it, okay. So first I need to give my reason for why I believe the leak, because I'm not just one of those YouTubers that every single little leak comes out, I'm like, oh, I'm making a video about it. But this one seems to be real. Hello everybody, I've had the pleasure of working on the upcoming title for NBA 2K franchise. I have helped develop NBA 2K21. I know that some of you haven't been happy with the lack of news, so I thought I would help you guys out. And then he sends another message to YouTuber Phantoms that clarifies what he was trying to say. And this is what made me believe this is real. The next bit of news you guys will get is the soundtrack with songs from Post Malone, Lil Baby, Polo G, and NLE Choppa. And then the next day, they announced a soundtrack that had two of the four songs. Now I know what you're thinking. That isn't convincing at all. I could DM two out of four girls right now and at least one or two of them would pity reply to me. But it's the fact that this was the first piece of news we got, and he called it, which was convincing. And even though the other songs weren't on the soundtrack, like Lil Baby's Bigger Picture and Most Malone's Tommy Lee, they could have had a huge list of songs that they just kind of basically finalized the next day. Or they realized that the leak came out and they didn't want everyone to believe the leak, so they changed a couple songs. But they added two songs, like Polo G, Go Stupid, the one from like TikTok, and NLA's Chapo. So I mean, it's a little convincing, I'm not gonna lie to you. Also, they added the strokes to the game, Kind of out of place, but okay. Plus, this league is going super and hyper in detail about things which seem weird to just kind of come up out of nowhere or make up out of nowhere. So let's get disappointed with current gen together and go into the quotes. So the first quote about current gen is, first and foremost, NBA 2K21 on next generation, so the Xbox One and the PS4, will not be that much different from what you guys know now in NBA 2K20. The only difference are the black top which has a kobe bryant mural which is awesome my league has been completely reworked from the ground up and the jordan rec center is now called the mamba center all the big changes come with next gen so these are the little nice touches 
and they're honoring Kobe and his passing and implementing it into the game, which I'm all about. They're also replacing the AI statue in Park with Kobe instead. Hopefully it's the Mom Edition cover pose for the statue. Also, the Rec is returning, and he called it the Jordan Rec Center, which is kind of sketch because it's called the Rec, not the Jordan Rec Center anymore. And they're changing it to the Mamba Rec Center, but still, it's a little sketchy that he called it the Jordan Rec Center. I won't lie to you, but still, I think we'll, we'll pass that one for the moment. And then the next one is on next gen and current gen, players will get the opportunity to completely customize your My Players exactly how you want it. Pie charts will be completely customizable in order to get. Hall of Fame badges on a category, you need 40% of the pie chart in that category. One badge will cost 2% of the pie. So this is the only good news about current gen is that they're reworking the build system again. And I'm happy about this one because you get to completely customize the pie chart however you want. You want a little more defense? You got it. You want a little more shooting? You got it. You want a little more slashing? You got it. You want a little more playmaking? You don't get that. What? But this is what I've wanted. I've wanted to be able to touch on my player however I want. I hated my offensive threat this year and how it sucks on defense. I wish I could have made it a little bit better at defense and I would have sacrificed shooting a little bit and it would have been the perfect build instead. I couldn't do that. Now, that's looking like that's the case, but I'm a little worried about one thing. It says that if you want a Hall of Fame badges, you need 40% of the pie chart in one specific category. So if you want two different categories with Hall of Fame badges, you would need to have 80% on both of those, which means you would only have 10% of the other two categories. So sure you have Hall of Fame defensive and shooting badges, but your drive literally sucks and your handles literally suck terribly. So I'm actually okay with it though, because I'm just gonna literally do a 25%, 25%, 25%, 25% of all of them, and I'm just gonna have gold badges and I'll be okay. The next quote is, yes, close transfer from current gen. Every court has been made into a mural of Kobe having eight and 24 on the courts and GG on the baseline. So another piece of good news, first of all, they're gonna have murals of Kobe basically everywhere, not only in blacktop, but apparently in the park as well, in rec. So it's gonna be Kobe themed and I'm okay with that with GG on the baseline. I'm happy with that, it's gonna be sick, it's gonna be cool. And the other thing is that the clothes transfer from next gen. Now you would think, oh bro, the clothes I buy in this game is gonna transfer to the next game? That's awesome. See, that would be good news. I would be hype about that, but that's from one generation to another. This is bad news to me because there is no way they're going to create these clothes, right? Remake them into the next gen with a brand new engine, every single piece of clothing. There is no way they're going to do that. That would take so much time, plus adding all this new clothes. There's no way they're putting that much effort into it. Because th what that's telling me is that this is going to be easy and it's basically going to be the same clothes. So they're not going to have new graphically edited and texturized and better looking clothes in the game. It's just going to be the exact same models. Is that what it's telling me? Because that's what it sounds like so far. The next quote is rep is back how you remember it. And the demo is going to drop on August 17th. Now I'm okay with the rep being exactly how it was last year because it was almost perfect with the this year technically like i love the rep i love the rep system this year i have no complaints about it it is as good as you could ask for but the demo drops august 17th which is only two weeks before the game comes out which is a little later than usual which i'm not a fan of at all the next thing is my league has been completely reworked as a selling point for current gen chemistry plays a huge factor why was my league focused on this current generation when I don't think anybody has any complaints about my league. My league is almost perfect, really. That's right, keep moving! I'm gonna, you know what? You know what? Yeah. Except you, you stay. Except for, I guess, for the simulation delay, which takes so long to simulate games, but that's not gonna matter anymore because of the PlayStation 5's SSD for next generation. So you really didn't have to mess with my league. I would have preferred you put that effort into a brand new park, which they're not going to do, apparently. It's like you want people to get mad at the game. I don't, I don't get it. We won't see park screenshots till a week before release. First of all, there's not gonna be a new park. Don't you put that evil on me, Ricky Bobby! And that's why they're probably gonna wait a week before the game comes out to show us the screenshots because they don't want us to lose our minds for the next month and a half, even though I think we all kind of expected this to happen. They're not gonna put any effort into this game, which is what it's really sounding like, so that they can focus on the next game. It's just a little ridiculous. And in that case, why even release the game? Like really, I'm gonna get the game because I'm a YouTuber and I'm, like, I'm obviously gonna get it and I have fun with it, but I'm literally gonna play it for two months and that's it, because then the next game's gonna come out. 
So I kind of feel like I'm wasting my time with the game. Like, really, if they're focusing their selling point on my league, they really should have just completely went all, all out on the current on next gen and not even released this game. But especially because they can't transfer my build. So I think this is ridiculous. This makes 2K21 on current gen look even worse than it already did. But not changing the park. This is something that most of us didn't want to happen, but we knew what was going to happen. Like Tom Thibodeau becoming the coach for the Knicks. But that's it. Okay, hopefully we're wrong. Hopefully this league is wrong. Hopefully it's great, but it's looking bad so far. But I'll talk about the next gen news in the next video. And that gets crazy. All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you like this channel, help me get to 300,000 subscribers and follow the channel. See you guys next time.